Hey folks, welcome. Thanks for your time today. Welcome to today's webinar where I'm going to share ideas and concepts on how to become an unbeatable coach and leader. Today in this webinar, we're going to learn number one reason why most people fail at peak performance to reach their goals, why over 80% of leadership coaching programs also fail, and how you can succeed as an unbeatable coach and leader to transform not only your life, but the lives of those on your team and people that you coach. If you're an executive, every executive, as you know, needs to be a coach as well. So you're gonna learn some uh, strategies and skills to be able to coach your team effectively to bring out their peak performance and maximize their potential. And if you're a coach, let's say you're a life coach or a fitness coach, Unbeatable Mind is truly the first integrated vertical development program, and I'm gonna talk about that later, of its kind. It's truly innovative, and it has had massive success in my own life and with clients to include the Navy SEAL, so we'll learn a little bit about that too. Um, you're gonna learn what it's like to be a coach, but one of the main thrusts of this program is that in order to be an effective coach, you must be an effective leader and evolve yourself. And so we're teaching you the skills to become self-evolutionary, to become the best leader that you can possibly be in all domains of your life so that you can also then coach others effectively to bring out their best self. In this way, we become co-creationary or co-evolutionary. This is really, really unique approach. It's part personal development and part coach training. Because you are attending this and we have a special gift for you at the end, I want you to stay for the whole thing and I appreciate your time for doing that. I've got some valuable training to offer you and we've got a free coaching call with one of our certified Unbeal Mind coaches that you can claim at the end of the training. So don't miss that. It's a valuable session. As I mentioned earlier, these, these tools that we're going to teach have had a long history starting from when I went through SEAL training myself. This is when I first noticed the power of these skills that I had begun to develop four years prior to going to SEAL BUDS training class number 170, where I graduated as the number one graduate or the honor man out of my class of 185 students. Not only did I graduate number one in my class, this is something I haven't spoken a lot about, but I also all seven of our boat crew, well, that's six including me, made it to graduation day. And upon reflection, I mean, that is an, a pretty um, interesting stat. It's very, very rare. And my COO, Jim, who you meet later, informed me that there was about a one in a million chance of that happening. Something was different. And you're going to learn why later on that was so. There was something different about what we were doing and what I was doing as a leader and a coach to get all of us through that arduous training. And it wasn't because I was just physically stronger. Yes, I had the physical aptitude to be at SEAL training. Everybody who starts does, but that was the least important factor. It was all about my mental toughness and resiliency and my ability to teach and coach those skills to my teammate and my bow crew. That is what led me to that success, that early success and that early canary in the coal mine indicator that we were onto something important and that these skills needed to be further developed and honed and then taught back to the SEALs. It all started when I was 21 and I began to learn Zen meditation from Master Tadashi Nakamura. I like to say that Tadashi Nakamura was a Zen master masquerading as a karate instructor. I thought I was there just to learn karate, but instead the Zen latched onto me and we trained Zen every single day before and after class and on Thursday evenings for an hour, hour long Zen sits, my 21 year old brain with all the neuroplasticity going on was transforming before my very own eyes. I tell that story in my book, The Way of the Seal. This process literally trained, changed my life in four short years where I went from being an MBA, CPA, Wall Street superstar or budding superstar and I left it all behind and joined the SEALs and became a qualified and then exceptional SEAL leader. I led teams and covert projects in many different countries, including Iraq and Korea, and I retired at the rank of commander after 20 years. In 2005, 
I was hired by Naval Special Warfare Group 1, who controls the West Coast teams, to lead pre-deployment certification training for all SEALs going to combat. And then something even more exciting happened. The Navy Recruiting Command hired my company to develop a nationwide mentor program for all SEAL trainees. Clearly, there was something that the Navy saw in this unbeatable mind training system in its early forms that I was using to train SEALs and to mentor SEAL candidates because it worked. The system helped the SEALs substantially reduce attrition rate at SEAL training and improve the mental training of the force and the tools of Unbeatable Mind are now being integrated into both SEAL and pararescue training. However, this mentor program limited my range of motion. I couldn't deploy the full physical, mental, emotional, intuitional, and spiritual training model that I had developed, which I called Five Mountains. So I launched SEAL Fit and then Unbeatable Mind to bring those deeper principles to all special operations forces and also civilians. That program has been extremely successful. Many of you know that SEAL training is the hardest training, military training in the world with over an 85% fail rate. And the SEAL trainees that we train through SEAL Fit and Unbeatable Mind using these principles in the Unbeatable Mind Coach Program see a 90% success rate. That's 90%. What an incredibly stark difference. So with single-minded focus that I had on improving the quality of soft training, suddenly I had found, after 20 years of hard, hard work, of course, that I had become an elite coach and a trainer of elite coaches. So imagine if you could 20x, meaning improve by 20 times your life, and help others do the same while you're improving. Again, this is about mastery of yourself in service to your team, your family, your tribe, your country, and humanity. We're not just focusing on one side of the equation like most other programs do. And that mastery is not just over who you are and how you show up, but also mastering your income earning potential, your performance under pressure, your ability to focus, you know, take your career in any direction you want, in particular to be in alignment with how you're meant to serve in the world, deepen your connection with your relationships, improve your health, your fitness, how you look, bring you more freedom. Imagine if you could use these skills to help you improve your life so you can help others improve theirs. It's powerful. This training system is singularly unique. I call it vertical training. It's a system and a lifestyle. And I'm going to show you what that means more in just a little bit. It's helped me develop an un un unbeatable life as well. I've created several very successful businesses, including the award-winning Coronado Brewing Company, which is my first business outside of active duty Navy. Also, I've mentioned the world-renowned Seal Fit and unbeatable mind, as well as the Courage Foundation, which is helping to heal veterans with post-traumatic stress. We have positively impacted tens of thousands of individuals and teams around the world. I've authored four best-selling books, The Way of the Seal, Unbeatable Mind, Kokoro Yoga, Eight Weeks to Seal Fit, and I just submitted the manuscript for my newest book, Staring Down the Wolf, to be released in March 2020. I've been asked to keynote speak to some major corporations, elite organizations like the U.S. Olympic teams, Shell Oil, Fujitsu, Google, you name it. Now, most important to me and my family, I've been able to balance all of that while maintaining my own peak physical conditioning and mental state and deepen my relationship with my family, who's my number one priority. The techniques I'm going to share today and that exist in the Unbeatable Mind Coach and Leadership Program can bring you the absolute most joyful life that you're looking for with all the success as measured by the right measures. I know that you're on this webinar, you're watching this right now because you're already ready to totally transform your life and to help those around you do the same. I think this mission is now more important than ever. We face some major obstacles in our 
in our lives, the way things have been going for the past 100 years or so. And those organizations in the system that created those obstacles and those challenges, such as you know, environmental catastrophe and war and threats of mass you know, destruction, annihilation. I mean, we can't expect the institutions and the people that created those conditions to solve them. So we need a new paradigm. You and I, t you know, one person at a time, being the change we want to see, it's time for us to step into the breach and to take action. And this program will help you help your team and your companies so that we can be the change that we want to see in the world together. Now think of a time, let's get into some training here. Think of a time, you can close your eyes doing this, when you utterly failed miserably. I can think of one in my life right now. And it's painful. And when you review that in your mind and you go through the details and you can feel the pain, you can realize that there were some aspects of that failure that are really important to note. Now, wipe that off the screen in your mind and think of a time when you had a huge success, like when everything was in alignment, when you were firing on all cylinders, when you were performing in a peak or flow state, everything's locked in, your team's right beside you, big hoo yah, huge success. What does that feel like and what's different? Well, I tell you, at a meta level, at the foundational level of what we're talking about here, it really comes down to feeding the right wolf. In the fail, you were letting fear, both outward fear and or subconscious fear-based conditioning run the show. Much of it completely hidden from your view. In the success, you were acting out of courage. You were feeding the courage wolf. One of the things that we want to teach in this program, it's the first thing that we teach is to recognize that the fear wolf runs the roost because the fear wolf is a hungry, tricky beast and he lives in your head. And the brain is wired for negativity. The fear wolf is essentially you in your head believing the stories, believing the loops, believing the reactionary conditioning of the fear wolf and then feeding that because you don't know how to get out of the head and into the heart where the courage wolf lives. Courage wolf is confident, he's generous, he's loving, but he's going to take a back seat to the fear wolf when you haven't acknowledged him and the fear wolf is sucking up all of the food and the fuel. The courage wolf resides in your heart. So how do you get in your heart? Now this isn't, you know, um, touchy-feely training here on Beal Mind. This is serious work. It's the work of connecting the heart and the mind so that the courage wolf can take center stage. In order to do that, you've got to starve fear and feed courage. In order to do that, you've got to train your mind and your heart and your whole body to become a mind, an unbeatable mind. The courage loop, like I said, when you're in fear, this is an unbroken loop. You have something that triggers you at a reactionary level. That triggers a false belief or a false condition, negative response, which keeps you in a weak state and that reinforces that state. And then you loop around into a negative self-concept and it weakens you until the fear wolf creates a big fail. One of the first things we'll teach you is how to use what we call the witness interdiction redirection and maintenance process or worm as part of our training in the mental mountain, which I'll get into in a moment, to interdict the negative fear wolf reactionary patterns and to redirect to a more positive state a positive attitude and a positive energetic way of being, which is both physiological, it's psychological, having to do with your self-talk, it's emotional, and it has to do with the imagery that you choose and you practice. And then that will reinforce a positive self-concept and bring positive beliefs about your 20x potential and power, what you're capable of, how you see yourself as a leader and a coach and a trainer, and how you see yourself as a fully integrated, embodied leader. I mean, it is powerful. It seems simple, but it's not easy, but it's worth it. At a 
really, you know, one way to look at this, how do you feed the wolf of courage? And that is to bring more loving behavior, more loving thoughts into your life. But this is something we must train. It's not something that's going to happen naturally because the fear wolf will always chase that out of your head. And so you need to train it. How do we train it? You train it by taking your eyes off yourself and putting them on your team, taking care of your team, taking your needs and putting them secondary to the team. And then what you find is your needs are taken care of because your team starts to do the same with you. By encouraging others, looking for the good in others instead of judging them, instead of gossiping, instead of hoping that they'll fail. So common in our society to see that fear wolf nasty behavior where everyone is judging or internally critiquing everyone else instead of truly and from their heart hoping for the best. Wouldn't it be amazing if we could all be that way? Well, you can and we will train this by showing compassion for yourself, forgiving yourself and also for forgiving all of those personal disasters, recognizing the value that they brought you in terms of you learning and growing so you could be at where you are today, right on the precipice of 20Xing your life and trans, you know, transforming yourself into a whole embodied leader using unbeatable mind. Looking for and finding the good in the world. Are you half glass full or half glass empty? Fear wolf is half empty. Fear wolf is scarce. Fear wolf gets sucked into security needs and worry about their job or about their income. Most people are in that, that worry, in that fear that they don't have enough, that there's not enough to go around. And I can tell you what, that fear itself, that scarcity mentality, that you know the pie is only so big and I've got to get my slice before you get yours or someone takes mine, that is all fear wolf negative thinking and it locks you in mediocrity and most of the world is there unfortunately but not us an unbeatable mind we break that we create an abundance mindset we open our heart to this this idea that there is enough for any everyone and the more we give the more we receive it's a universal principle but it must be trained this is probably right there one of the biggest insights is that all of this is accessible to you because you're a human being and these are your God-given gifts. But if we don't train them, they are not there for us. We cannot access them because the negativity of the world and the negative people around us are training us to be negative. So we got to take charge and train. The courage wolf is confident, optimistic, generous, abundant, grateful, and always in control of what happens on the inside in control of your thoughts and emotions and not allowing negative rea reactionary conditioning to lead your re you know to lead your behavior to lead your team we want to cancel out or starve that fear wolf who's unsure and pessimistic and greedy living from scarcity and jealousy and timidity so ultimately what I'm suggesting here is that this program can help you get unstuck and to begin to starve fear and to feed courage. And that's where true success will come from. 80% of all leadership training programs fail. Why is that? It's because they're operating from the paradigm of the mind where the fear wolf resides. They can't help you until you eradicate the fear and step into courage, train your heart, train to become an embodied leader. That's the reason that I was able to be successful and get 90% of the SEAL candidates that I train through SEAL training. It's why these principles are now working in special ops and with the clients that we've been able to train. It's because not only am I coaching from my heart as an embodied leader and leading by example in that, but our clients and coaches are also learning to embody the leadership principles and to coach from their heart or in what we say at seal fit from kokoro which means heart then mind into action embodied leadership essentially is a term that means you're going to 
live and lead from an integrated whole person perspective, which means we use our bodies. We don't just train our bodies to be fit. We use them to lead, to express ourselves. In order to do that, we've got to expand our concept of what it means to, to have a mind. Our mind is not just our brain. In fact, the brain is the executive agent, but the brain can also lead you and let us keep you trapped in negativity as we've discussed. So unbeatable mind training has us expand our concept of what is mind, learn how to use the brain super effectively, and also training our witness and our perceiving mind and training our heart mind and our intuitive belly mind. This way we open up to whole mind thinking. Now we're able to look at our emotional mountain and to begin to learn how to be more uh, socially uh, strong and powerful by attacking our negative conditioning and eradicating our shadow and earl from early childhood trauma by staring down the wolf. In fact, this is the subject of my next book. As we develop that skill and become more emotionally aware and mature, then we access our intuitive power, that gut level intuition, the heart level emotional intuition and connection we have with other individuals, and also this idea of being able to directly perceive truth through insight. These are master level skills that you need to embody and teach others because those are the skills that are going to allow us to lead to a more positive future. And finally, Kokoro spirit. I used the term a little while ago. This is the merging of heart and mind and your spirit into powerful, courageous action where you'll stand your ground You'll align with your calling, your passion, purpose, and principles, and why you do what you do. So you're very clear every day, what's your main mission? What are you going to do about it today? And when you start to get pulled off track, you draw a line in the sand and said, no, I'm standing my ground. I'm not going to cross this. That right there is an enormously powerful skill and one that comes through the, the process of integration as you develop yourself as an embodied leader through these five mountains. In a nutshell, embodied leadership, which is the outcome or the result of unbeatable mind training and coaching is living your principles and stand as a leader and teaching others to do the same, B behaving and aligning with your head, your heart, and your belly, using your whole mind, and bringing your passion and your purpose and your principles and aligning with those with laser-like focus every single day and living every day as if it's your last or your best opportunity to do the right thing and to do what you need to do and to bring your gifts to the world and to your team. Now, let's take a moment and envision what that looks like for you. Okay, so let's close your eyes if you would and just imagine that all the obstacles that you think are in front of you have just disappeared. Imagine that you are in this beautiful, natural surrounding, a mountain pasture or glade, and any obstacle that you thought was in your life, the job, finances, health, everything has just disappeared and fallen away in front of you. And what's left is you in this pristine, natural setting. And in this pristine setting, you feel whole. You feel complete. You feel com utterly connected to nature, to Mother Earth, to all the plants and animals there to support you on your journey. You feel like a steward, like it's your responsibility to help take care of this beautiful setting this planet Earth of yours. You look out across the plain and in the distance you can imagine other people who are not necessarily f like you. You think they come from different cultures, speak different languages. They have different religions, different color skin, and yet you feel utterly connected to them too. You recognize yourself as a member of the human race. You are world-centric in perspective. Because you're integrated and embodied as a leader, you are physically fit. 
your body is in its ideal weight and fitness and in balance. You're in balance with your sleep, you're in balance with your nutrition and your exercise and your movement and your recovery and the time that you spend in nature helps keep you in balance and connected, connected to Mother Earth, connected to all citizens of Earth. You start to feel really, really aligned and powerful because you're standing in your truth you're standing with wisdom, you've embodied love, you act from the courage wolf, Kokoro, heart mind in action, you've starved the fear wolf. The fear wolf has no sway over you any longer. You're able to use your brain effectively and your mind effectively without fear. You've eradicated all negative conditioning, all shadow, you are expressing your ideal self and bringing it to the world and you see a path before you and that path you recognize is the unbeatable path that's going to take you to the height of your five mountains physical mental emotional intuitional and kokoro alignment embodiment integration wholeness with a world-centric leadership perspective helping heal bringing your team and your tribe to a higher place with and through your actions. And that path is also leading you into total alignment so that you can serve who you're meant to serve with your unique skill from a point of peak performance in a flow state, day in and day out, joyfully delivering your unique talents to the world in alignment with your passions and your purpose and your principles. No fear any longer. No fear of any, anything being less than what it needs to be. No fear of scarce, scarcity, of security needs. No fear of financial or income needs. Everything being taken care of because the universe is rejoicing and responding to this alignment and this love and this caring and this coaching and this training that you're bringing into the world and because you're leading by example. What does that ideal picture look like that you are becoming day in and day out through your training, physically, mentally, emotionally, intuitionally, and Kokoro spirit? Keep that image strong, add emotion to it. it should feel like really, really good really grounded, but lighthearted, playful, spontaneous, joyful, determined, focused, committed. You will dominate, but in a good way, leading with the courage wolf. Hoo-yah. This image is a gift, keep coming back to it every day in this training spot, this pristine spot. Feel the connection and the balance by connecting with yourself, your ideal self, in this ideal natural setting, everything in balance. And if you visit this ideal future self visualization every single day, it'll have a profound impact on your ability to align and move toward that every single day. Who we are. Okay. Thank you everybody for allowing me that training. I wish I had more time to go through the training. Uh, that is just a taste and we'll do more of these in the future. And if you're part of our Unbeatable Mind coaching program, you'll get lots of that type of training with me through all the skills of Unbeatable Mind, all the mental training skills, the emotional skills, the visualization, the breath control. This is the secret sauce for leaders of the future. I want to help you learn how to tap into your full potential. And so, yes, we work on all the tactics of attention control, of arousal control, of visualization, of, of task orientation, and front sight focus, and eradicating shadow. Ultimately, it's done all together every day through your five mountain training plan and through teaching others. That's the secret too. And we're not just focused on ourselves here, self-mastery and service. And that's what allows us to get into the heart 
right? If we're doing this just for ourselves or just to earn more money, it will not work. You will not see the success that I'm talking about here. This is to make the world a better place through your team, through others, and you humbly bring yourself to that team. And through that process, you grow also to be your ideal self. And this training program has a lot to it. Um, I'm gonna introduce you the, the nuts and bolts here, and then I'm gonna encourage you to have that coaching call with the Certified Unbeatable Mind Coach, because that's a valuable call. They are gonna work with you specifically on a topic that you bring to them. And then they will tell you more about this coaching program and answer your questions. This is a certification program. This is a new program. It combines everything I've talked about today, the proven tools and practice of Unbeatable Mind, the same tools that I use to help Navy SEALs graduate with a 90% success rate, which helped me write five books and launch multiple businesses. It's helped thousands of clients now. So it's gonna help you also gain a deeper understanding of all these tools and to be able to employ them into your daily life uh, so you can be a better leader and help your team to grow, um, help your family and friends and kids. And if you're a coach or uh, seeking new to grow your business, it'll help you do that. And um, ideally, we'd like most of you also to become full-time unbeatable mind coaches if that's the path you'd like to take. So you'll be able to, as a certified coach, you'll be able to expertly coach your clients using these tools. We'll teach you the 11 core competencies of the International Coaching Federation, that's ICF. You have the potential to become a facilitator of the Unbeatable Mind trainings with corporations and lead small groups in a boat crew. 16 weeks of virtual coaching includes over 50 videos, seven live coaching sessions with the certified coach team and myself, um, a number of audio recordings. Some of the modules uh, are seen here on this slide. How do you coach presence? The big four skills of mental toughness, which I alluded to today, the five mountains, the nuances on the five mountains. Coaching from the five plateaus, that's a powerful one that's completely unique to Unbeatable Mind. Um, coaching ethics, etc., etc. Live coaching from me and my team. I mentioned that you'll have one monthly live coaching call with me, a uh, two-hour webinar with my head coaches and me, and office hours with the head Unbeatable Mind coaching staff to get all of your questions answered and to continue to evolve your skills. We also have a new community platform where you will be able to lead, form and lead boat crews and connect with your peers um, who are also certified coaches. We have a world-class faculty, uh, not just myself, but we have Mr. Jim Bro, who you'll hear from in a bit, um, Catherine Devine, who's my stepdaughter and um, co-founder of our Kokoro Yoga program, and uh, she's just an amazing embodied leadership instructor. Uh, Michael Osterlink, who is our master coach and uh, comes from the field of integrated development, integral theory, and is a therapist. Dr. Laura Pence, who's a performance coach and therapist, and Spartan Race's uh, mind doctor. You also get the online foundation course, which is 12 month program. This course has been around since 2012, but completely revamped it in the last year, completely revamped. All new videos, all new written content, and we continue to improve this program. It is just extraordinary and world-class where all of the skills and tools and concepts of Unbeatable Mind are found um, in this online training program for your uh, perusal and as a resource. One of the more uh, cool and important aspects of this program is the three-day Unbeatable Mind experience. This is a powerful, powerful event where myself and my team will teach you the specific skills and help you develop your five mountain training plan and your ethos and your three P's and whatnot, some of the uh, aspects. And you'll get to experience integrated training with other individuals who are wanting to be coaches and certified coaches, as well as just um, really dive into the Unbeatable Mind lifestyle. It's in Carlsbad, California. We run it twice a year, March and September and you, uh, you will come to that as part of your training. So you're gonna have all the support you need if you're into this as a business to build a thriving coaching business. You'll have all the tools and knowledge 
and access to our full portfolio of programs to help you and to help your clients. This next cohort begins November 4th. It's not for everybody, I recognize that. And we also, uh, we won't select everybody. We're gonna limit it to 100 slots. This is extremely valuable, if I don't say so myself. Um, those of you who know me know I don't love selling things. It's not natural to me. But um, I believe in this so much and I want everybody to experience Unbeatable Mind. It is utterly unique, right? Yes, it's had some great success with SEALs and others, but it's for everybody. It is truly the first vertical, and I use the term vertical development. I don't think I defined it. What I mean is that this program is designed to ascend you to your highest stage of potential or consciousness as a human being, as opposed to just horizontally give you some new tactical skills that allow you to go, you know, execute your job or, you know, be a better tactical leader. This is about becoming a better person, becoming a better person through the physical, mental, emotional, intuitional, and Kokoro spirit training and by working in service to others as a coach or as a leader or both. The value of this program is easily over $10,000 and we're gonna give it to you for half that. So why become a coach now? Like I said earlier, as a leader, you may have noticed that coaching and serving others is a big deal. It's, a, it's a, you know, something that's really, really important for you as a leader to learn how to coach effectively. So even if you don't wanna become a certified coach, now's the time to learn how to coach. And if you're looking to either expand your um, arsenal of tools or your reputation as a coach, Unbeatable Mind is singularly unique in the way it approaches coaching and you know the evolution of your clients as well as a boat crew, so it's team coaching. Really interesting, where do you find that? The coaching industry is huge, it's growing. There's tons of opportunity to make a significant revenue, a significant income. And um, so to grow your coaching business or to transition out of, let's say, a stuck corporate job and you're ready for something new, this is a great opportunity. Now's the time. There's serious income potential. Our Unbeal Mind coaches are charging between two and $500 a month for individual clients and much more for small boat crew clients. But like I said, there's a lot of junk programs out there. It's over 500. It's pretty easy to get certified. I reckon, or I remember back when I got CrossFit certified. I became a CrossFit coach. It took me two days, 16 hours. I love CrossFit, but uh, I was completely incompetent at coaching CrossFit, you know, when I, you know, the day after that certification program. This training is not like that. This is going to be really, really deep, and you're gonna go out there really being able to embody these skills and we're here to support you because we believe this is a lifetime journey. This is not a one and done thing. It's not like we want you just to, you know, go do this and then go off on your own. No, we want to ensure that we can be there to support you for your daily training and practice so that you continue to evolve while you continue to evolve your coaching skills. Leadership development is shifting as well. I think I've alluded to this already. Um, how much money is spent on leadership? It's like $3 billion a year by corporations. And it's just wasted money because the leaders aren't changing. So here's my question to you. Do you have the courage to stare down your fear wolf to take the next step with Unbeatable Mind? This program has transformed the lives of thousands of professionals, athletes, and warriors, helped them to develop their extraordinary mental strength to become their ideal selves, and are, who are now succeeding at an elite level. And I'd like to bring Jim Bro up here and have him provide a, just a few uh, comments about his experience with Unbeatable Mind leadership development and coach training. Jim? A few years back, I was a chief human resources officer for a Fortune 500 company. And part of that job, I had a budget of about $38 million. And a lot of that was for people, but a lot of that was for training and executive coaching. And we could afford the best out there. 